Aloha guys, Scuba Chris here. I'm at my storage locker, had to pull this baby out. So I'm gonna be showing how to properly set a drag on a lever drive. This is my Okuma 15. This is the Solterra SLX uh, 15 GS. It's a pretty strong rod, uh, reel that I use for trolling as well as bottom fishing. All right, just remember, uh, when you preset your drag, it should be roughly 25 to 30% of the braking strength of your line. Now, that could differ because mono like this stretches and braid doesn't, so you just have to bear that in mind. Some people will try to get accurate readings. They're gonna use a spring scale. Nothing wrong with that. I like to go by feel. I like to pull this out and feel uh, what I'm doing because I've been doing this for years. I know what species I'm targeting and I kind of know the sizes and the areas to go to and I prefer just going by feel. Okay, how do you set the preset drag on this? Okay, right over here, this is, only thing you have to care about is your positioning of the drag set, okay? This is neutral all the way down here. This is at strike, all right? So you, at strike, you want, um, your pressure to be roughly 25 to 30 percent of the line breaking strength okay see that now it's it's set right so it, it's pretty well set in there okay you see you want to loosen it up this is your tension knob here but you do not turn this while your while your levers in strike position bring it back down all the way back down okay see that's set bring it all the way back down then you use your tensioner knob, you turn it counterclockwise, just a little. Bring it back up to strike. Look at that. Now it comes out a lot easier, okay? Now, if you want to set it a little stronger again, same thing, you don't turn it from, don't turn your tensioner knob while this is engaged. You bring it back down to neutral, then you, you, you turn it um, to the right, clockwise, all right? Now you just made it a little bit harder, Set it up again. See, it's it's pretty stiff now. So just remember, when anytime you change the um, uh, strength of your strike, you do it from the tensioner knob here. Now, the reason why you don't want to do it when you're engaged up here is because of the the, the uh, drag cam. The drag cam, you could actually snap that on the inside, you could fracture it. So just make sure that anytime you change your settings, you bring it down, then you change it, you know, go by turning it to the left now, to make it a little looser, bring it back up. See, that's the proper way of doing it. Now this is an Akuma reel, um, it's a conventional, but any type of lever drag, when you first get it, the settings are gonna be very, very loose. And the reason why they do that is because you don't want a lot of internal uh, tension inside the reel. They're gonna ship it to you loose. So you have to already start tightening it when you get it out of the box. So like I said, you bring it down, bring it up. If it's too loose, which it will be when you first get it, just make sure, turn the tensioner knob to the right. Okay, that's clockwise. That's gonna give you the proper tension. Turn it to the right, like so. And that'll give you tension you, like you need here. Anytime you change that, like I said, bring it down, change this um, to left to right, depending if you need more pressure, less pressure, bring it back up. Always make sure that when you change the tension, you always bring it back down. Also a big mahalo to Brent from Tropo Gear, who also owns Brian's Fishing Supply. He gave me this beautiful Tropo shirt long sleeve so this would be good at night when uh, I go out to do my uh, night fishing because it's starting to get into that colder season.